Hi everyone, it's Cindy. Um, I thought I'd quick shoot this quick video um, of a tool that I use in the initial stages of my planning and that's Google Maps. Uh, a lot of you may know Google Maps for getting directions and things like that, but I've actually started using it to map out specific areas and to work out my itinerary and where I'm going to go um, by using different functions on it. I've had a few queries of late from a few of you asking whether you should include different places in your itineraries and is it worthwhile. So this is what I do to decide on where I'm going to go and unfortunately what I'm going to take out of the itinerary. And my motto for travel is less is more. So less places, more time in each place and that equals better travel experiences in my opinion because if you try and include everything it means that you're rushing from place to place and you don't actually get the real experience of being in that place. For me, two weeks in one place would not be enough. So um, each to their own. Um, clearly, if you feel like you will never return to this place again and you want to see as much as you can, try and do that. But I still think pick the places you want to see the most and spend the most time in those. So to start off, we've got, we've just logged into Google Maps. And what happens is you can come over here to this um, menu icon and then we'll go to your places and then we'll go to maps. So I've already got one created here for a Scotland trip that I want to take at the end of the year. Uh, you can't see it properly because of the little icons covering it but right down here down the bottom under there it says create map so when you want to do this as a new map for a new trip that's where you go okay so I'm just going to click in here to show you and I've got more so what I do at the beginning of a trip uh, particularly something like this which, which will be a road trip through Scotland is everything that I've read I keep notes on any places that are of interest it could be anything from restaurants to sculptures to something to do to great scenery whatever takes my interest i write it down so then i look at the places i want to go and on the map i will just um i'll open this in maps and i'll show you i just find the places I want. So fairy pools, car park on the Isle of Skye. So we can go walk for a walk to the fairy pools. Now that shows there. Now what happens is that place will come up over here and I want to add that to my list. So I'll just click the plus sign and now it's um, added somewhere. Oh, right down the middle, add it to the bottom. So I just want to zoom out of this so we can see the clusters. So then what I have done is when I have put everything into my list, I have changed the color because I'm very visual. Um, a lot of us are visual. So then I can at a glance see where the clusters are. And that's how I plan the itinerary and where I'm going to go. I'll just finish off this fairy pools because it's over here. Uh, with these dark green ones so to change the color you just click the little paint bucket and then click I don't know if that's quite the same green probably a little different but anyway close that down and we're done so as you can see these places are a little far out of the way and what will happen is because I only have two weeks and I, as I said, less is more. A lot of these little day trips or um, numerous things to see in Edinburgh or in Gla around near Glasgow. So I will plan my itinerary around this. So probably starting in Edinburgh, drive up into the Highlands, stopping at these little places here. We'll stay in Inverness and then explore these places here. We'll drive over to the Isle of Skye and explore this around here down through Glenfiddan and Glencoe and explored these places and back down and finish in Glasgow before catching the plane home out of Edinburgh Airport. I really want to go up here. I really do. But 
it's just when I looked at it, the time it's not feasible uh, to catch a ferry across, to have the um, time frame that I want to be able to explore just doesn't work. So you either have to sacrifice it or plan another trip for another time. So I will keep that. I'll keep this map for another time and I'll use it again. Um, so I started to do this here. Once you've got your itinerary down, what you can then start to do is create layers. So this is just my list. It's a very big, long list. And so what I've started to do here is I've created a layer and I've called it day one. So I'm going to create my itinerary like this. So you would do this, you would add a layer and it then rename it. So I'm going to do day two, save that. And day one will be spent in places around Edinburgh. I haven't, um, so what you can do is, is you take, so I want to go, I will do a day trip to Stirling Castle, Stirling, the town of Stirling and Stirling Castle whilst we're in Edinburgh. So I want to put that into my day one. So I will drop and drag. Doesn't always work. No, it's not going to play nice now. There it goes. So I can put that into my day one. Or you could have that as location one, destination one, whatever that you prefer. Um, day two, I'm going to take, unclick that. So day two, I'll spend around here. We might stay overnight here somewhere. So where are my purple ones? I'm going to take that and drop it down here. And I will get the next purple one. Oops, and take it down. So I'll leave that there. But as you can see, so it's a great way to create your list and to see where you should go. Remember, the more you travel, so if you're off, if, if I was to go from here all the way up to here, it's going to cost more money, more money in transport. I'm going to have to stay overnight, so the more accommodation. Remember, the more times you move, the more money it's going to cost you. So keep things streamlined. So I'm, I'm going to just have to sacrifice those. It's hard to do. It's hard not to cram everything into an itinerary. I know. I get it. It's, it's a struggle every time. I understand. But anyway, I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, I have sent this in an email. So um, email me back, ask any questions. If you like this type of video, I can do more. So let me know and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks, guys. Bye.